hey Aquarius so this is another message I know I might look crazy it's early in the morning but okay channel message y'all like this video you know they've been shadow banning my channel if you don't know what shadow banning is basically like when they don't want your messages or like certain things to get out people fuck with your views they fuck with like your comments from them on and off they um try to block your channel so like let's say I have 10,000 subscribers but my view my video only got 300 views like they tamper with certain controls and shit behind the scenes and technology to where certain messages and certain things won't get out to like try to like silence you or like make you be quiet and we're not doing none of that shit over here okay um so yeah i like the video so you know it can really get out to where it's supposed to be going but so someone is about to make a public statement about how they feel about you aquarius i'm hearing that song by webby since you've been away i've been down and lonely since you've been away, I've been thinking of you. Ooh, ooh, I'm missing you. I think it's called Missing You by Webby. Okay? And then, um, yeah, somebody about to um, make a public statement. This person could be screaming outside your house with the damn boating box. Um, ooh, they're trying to blow up my throat. Shock, they don't want me to say this. Um, this person could could be saying it on social media, saying it to their family, screaming it, getting on speakerphone, whatever they're doing. They making sure this shit is public. They don't care fuck who know, who see them, or who hear what they got to say or how they feel. But at the third chakra, it says soul to places. We have heavy third chakra energy. There's somebody here you have a soul tie with, or they feel like um you guys have met before, or like energetically, like you may be picking up on the energy. Maybe y'all got into a message, whatever. Heavy solar plexus chakra, heavy yellow here. We got the crown chakra at the top of the head, and then we got the second chakra, which is the sacral, where your private parts are. Okay. But whoever this person is, um, it says self-discipline. So this is somebody here who could be going through, like, you could be um very strong when it comes to self-discipline. Like, you know, um, you are strong and capable, and I feel like your actions speak louder than words, but now this person is getting on the same wavelength as, as you. And what I realized is that, like, you know, they have to let their actions speak louder than their words. Okay, but, you know, they, they actions and their words are going to be matching up or getting on the same accord. It says... This is the one I'm reading, y'all. It says, my self-discipline and willpower will significantly help me in my efforts to move forward and grow. This person could be growing or going through the dark night of the soul, okay? I am free of the need of approval from others, and they're realizing that they're about to say, fuck them folks, okay? I face each challenge with determination and courage, and I am determined to live my life to its fullest potential. And they're finally either realizing this or they're going to make this evident. They don't give a fuck if the police is chasing them around or karma is chasing them around or whatever they're going through they're going to make sure that you know how you feel but i have the seventh chakra which is definitely the crown chakra okay it says one with all so it says i'm aware that i have a choice of how i respond to what is happening in my life my responses have an enormous effect on my spiritual mental emotional and physical well-being and i feel like you learned this already you're one with everything or i'm getting you are intuitively on the right path or where you're supposed to be you could be seeing two 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 a lot or one 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 and i feel like this person's just getting in the loop of the wavelength of this it says i feel the divine force flowing through me and i honor this and i know it is flowing through all so maybe you already had your kundalini rising okay and this person could definitely just be getting comfortable with this or de definitely getting comfortable with you know um that they have spiritual gifts or you know just working the, with the divine or you know working with their spiritual team or really just getting um getting on the right path where they should be it says, I am calm in knowing that I am one with all, and I contemplate and meditate on this fact. I regularly remind myself that we are from the same source, and we are all on a journey as spiritual beings experiencing this physical existence. So this person could definitely, you know, it could be hitting this person harder than maybe just going through, like, pivotal moments in their uh, spiritual journey or whatever. And they may not even call it a spiritual journey, okay? Then we have the second chakra, the color orange. This is definitely abundant. So maybe, you know, if you did want to get crystals, you could definitely do like citrine. You could do like fluoride. You can do garnet. You could definitely do um, amethyst as well. You can do uh, cinnabar. Yeah, you can do, um, did I say fluoride already? Um, but yeah, um, and kyanite. And it says abundance. I'm worthy and I deserve an abundance of anything that I require. I watch my thoughts and I ensure that I'm honoring and respecting myself. I honor and respect myself. Um, and I honor, um, I honor myself knowing that I am worthy to receive and I'm open to receive now. I remind myself that it's a sign of strength to ask for help. So while all this happened, this person may be asking you for help. Okay. Or, you know, um, yeah, that's what's going on. 
I feel like you don't have a problem with asking for help. Such person may be reaching out for you to, to either help them as well at the same time. So while they're expressing or making a public statement or they're letting you know how they feel about you and don't care who listening or who know about it and they finally go open up about it and tell people or whatever. Um, this person is, like I said, either running from the cops or running from a karmic but they're having a the time of their life while they're running or, you know, they're going to be having a time of life expressing how they feel about you and screaming it like from the rooftops or like, you know, they don't care. They don't care. Okay. But this person may dedicate like a certain song or saying or something um, to let or let alone a poem to let you know or express this, um, how they feel or what's going on. But they don't care what anybody has to say. Nobody wants to see us together, but it don't matter, no, because I got you. Yeah, and then I have the last yellow card, it's inner harmony. So like I said, y'all going to come into harmony or like this is where they're coming into harmony with themselves. Okay, it says... I trust my innate wisdom and respond accordingly. I do not allow my mind to create down override my strong, good feelings. They're not doing that shit no more. They're not letting their mind or playing mind games on themselves. I accept and express my feelings while accepting the feelings of others. I'm at peace with myself and those around me, and I do not harbor unrealistic expectations of myself or others. Yeah, back to life, back to reality. This person's getting that um, fall from grace or that fall from grace helped them. It says, I release the need to control others. So maybe this person had to try to control you, how people view them or, you know, control of the people but they're realizing that ain't gonna work it says my personal power is free from ego and from any desire to manipulate or exploit situations or people the foundation of all my thoughts and actions is i trust in myself so maybe this person could have been somebody who like they was in their ego and they like to manipulate or exploit situations or people's feelings or you know be manipulative or whatever the fuck it is but i feel like they're coming out of that or because they have no choice they have no choice to okay they have no choice to Let's go ahead and put some cards on the situation here, y'all, so, so I can get y'all all the tea, okay? But, yeah, whoever this person is, yeah, I have love begins, and I have victory and success and awareness. This person is, like, aware to the connection you guys have, or I'm getting, like, you know, maybe you were suffering in silence, or maybe the person was suffering in silence, and I feel like you maybe have moved on, or you're moving at a more accelerated rate than this person, okay? And now they're realizing, like, you know what? I want this victory, victory and success. I want this love, or... Um, I'm hearing that song, people around the world, join hands, start a love train, a love train, people around the world, join hands. Yeah, like I said, materials um, and spiritual prosperity, they could also be asking you for like money or asking you for help or like whatever it is, but they are focused on trying to solidify a foundation with you. But more importantly, like this person does want a new beginning here, not only just um, in life or like in your energy, but in love as well. But with the shadow card, I feel like the person is, is doing their shadow work here or I'm getting their higher self is actually aligned. Like they're coming into harmony. Like, yeah, they come into harmony. Like it's crazy. You could be seeing the number 999 or 911 or 919. Could be significance. And also, don't get on here talking about some, oh, I fuck them. I don't want them. This and that, this and that. Okay, well, if you don't want them and all that shit, why did you click on the video? If you don't want to hear nothing about it, why'd you click on the video? Okay, and you know, I'm not saying y'all don't have the, the y'all can express what y'all want. I'm saying, like, you express what you want in the conversation, but don't be coming on here with these crazy ass comments and shit. Because it's like, I guess it's temptation and heartbreak. Maybe they hurt you before, they hurt themselves before, and maybe they was in some type of devilish ass energy, but now they're trying to be successful or do the right thing, okay? Fulfill their wishes here, and possibly yours as well, too. We're gonna pull four cards on this person. First card, it says money coming fast. So I feel like your money is coming fast. But, you know, like I said, they could be asking you for help financially or asking you for some type of help. But after that, their money going to be coming in fast. Next card I have is no. So you may you may want to tell them no. Okay. <laughs> you may want to tell them no or no is of significance. I have gossiping. So like I said, no and I have gossiping. People could be gossiping about this person and they're like, no, bitch, I don't care. I don't want to hear about none of that. I don't care what they got to say. Like, I don't care. I don't care. And then I have a peace offering. Like I said, this person wants to bring you a peace offering at least. That's the least they can do. That's the least of their worries, okay? But for you, collective, let's put some cards for you. I have in the sea. So you could be in the sea. You know how they say it's other fish in the sea? You could be somewhere in the sea looking at the other fish. Or I'm getting like, you could be in the sea and this motherfucker's like, hell no. Nah. Yo ass in the sea and shit. I'm gonna need you to come on back on over here to the to the little channel or the river, whatever you at. Like new scenery. You could be looking at new scenery. You could be moving. You could be looking at new options. Okay, doing different shit when it's happened. Also, you could be focused on color magic here or um understanding like what the different colors mean or how to do certain things. Okay. I'm hearing that song, the way you do the things you do. 
oh baby and it's called the way you do things you do and it's by the temptations y'all know i love the temptations almost more than i love the Isaac brothers okay but i have adderall addiction so somebody could be on adderall somebody could have adhd adderall 30 i ain't slept in like a week or maybe you've done adderall before maybe this person could have had an adderall addiction or maybe they popped pills before or maybe it's just like gossip i don't know you know your story but let's go ahead and get some mutual cards here three mutual cards i have scorpio placements maybe this person has a scorpio placement or you could be like a cusper or maybe you have a scorpio placement somewhere okay or there could be a scorpio just just in again in the way it is okay but it says unexpected truth like i said this is going to be an unexpected truth or maybe the scorpio may tell you unexpected truth or maybe one coming about a scorpio placement okay let me get it like a card and i have thoughts to myself by lucci if I put you in my will, would you kill and not steal for me? Um, and not steal from me. All I ask is you. All I ask of you is can you be real for me? That's how the song go by Lucci. Lucci is an Aquarius. So maybe you could be talking to the Scorpio or however this is going to go. Flip it how you need to go. But um, let me pull some tarot on this. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Let me pull some tarot. We're going to use the Miss Cleo deck. Okay. I haven't used that in a while. Shout out to you. Boo for donating it to the channel. If you guys do want to donate any decks or cards to the channel, you can do that. The link is down below in the description box. Okay. Um. Cha 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 cha. I'm hearing that song. Girl, lay it on me. I place no one above thee. Oh, maybe this movie Players Club could be a significance. I know that's a song they play when Diamond is like dancing in the pink nighty okay but um yeah i feel like this person the reason why they want to make this public statement is hold on eight of swords they've been stuck in their head too long i'm hearing that song my my, my mary j blige no more pain no more pain no more pain no more drama in my life here you are the star it's stuck in their head about you i'm getting like you pouring out them emotions and it's like why are you pouring all that shit out that same stream they like at a distance from you but like they can feel your emotions or they stuck in their head or you know they can feel you pouring them out and not really fucking with them but i feel like with the knight of wands of verse they don't want to come in strong they don't want to come in like mad or angry but i feel like the knight of wands person doesn't want to come in with some type of passion but they're not sure how to show it but i'm getting the three of wands and the emperor card at the bottom of the deck this person is coming in full emperor mode i'm getting beast mode three of wands you could already turn your back on this motherfucker and they like bitch you thought i wasn't coming back or you thought i wasn't gonna say nothing or you you thought whatever you thought i've been gone for too long think it's time to bring it back yeah and i feel like with the lovers card and the ten of cups it just came out baby you should know this that i ain't going like mariah the scientist okay maybe you could listen to her i just started listening to her i just found out about her but yeah ten of cups and lovers card this is somebody here who really wants to tell you like how much you make them feel they want to tell you about their well-being how you make them feel and they want to know how you feel and like what's going on with you but at the same time i feel like with the five of wands and the will of fortune the wheel could be turning in your favor they trying to hop on that wheel trying to hop on that bandwagon but they got some type of conflict like i said either the law is after them you could have other options after you or there is some type of interference could even be a third party or um like i said a karmic individual is chasing after them but five of cups um yeah like i said five of cups and the will of fortune whoever the person is um they want to let you know that they're struggling or like i'm hearing that song by beyonce baby i love you you are my life the happiest moments weren't complete if you weren't by my side like I'm hearing that song. I don't know where all these songs is coming from. Because me personally, I'm not going to say I'm not a Beyonce fan. But, yeah. But Judgment Card, they saying all this about the same card. I'm getting five of cups. Like, let me hear and turn myself in by Lil Durk. Just read me my rights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heard the story. Think I'm finished. I'm getting chills from my head to my feet. Like, yeah, but 
what's going on is that they don't care what anybody's saying but people who gossiping people who gossiping page of cups they could be saying like um this person is a rolling stone or they could be saying like this person is bullshit and they don't really feel like that about you yeah seven of swords whoever the fuck people was gossiping these are the same people who told this person to give you a bullshit ass offer to play in your face or i'm getting to not really creatively manifest you and seek elsewhere or find a new obsession or a new hobby or a new person two wands and make them make some type of decision um when it came towards you but with the hangman pisces energy here i'm getting like they end up setting the trap for themselves or they end up getting themselves in a situation they didn't want to be in and i feel like with the four of cups and the three of pentacles um whatever they got themselves into it was a hopeless situation a hopeless for me so it was just looking dumb up the creek without a pedal and not three pentacles they're trying to collaborate with you or like the people who they were supposed to be collaborating with or these same individuals this person realized that they weren't really fucking with them and they end up having to have their guard up when it came to these people because high priestess either you're a high priestess you're a spiritual or they went to somebody else to get a reading i feel like eight of pentacles or they may have went to somebody to get some work done okay and i thought it was going on um they just started to start putting in work or they could have got a reading or seen some type of tarot or started looking up spiritual shit and they like damn okay let me start putting in work let me start doing this um hold on i'm hearing a song so we have to work to, mm, 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 baby baby i can't remember the name of the song somebody knows that song comment it down below i can't remember the name of it at all but like i said justice card it came out you're gonna get your justice and this is exactly what it's gonna be and i just seen the full card but yeah this person is gonna work toward that cherry card and they finna pull up on your ass they finna pull up on you if they haven't pulled up on you already they finna pull up on you okay it's just happening now okay light as a feather stem of the board their heart is passing the test or they may be going through a test to figure out what's going on with their heart Okay, or if their energy is in the right place for them to even be around you. They may even have to prove shit to your ancestors. Okay, but we got the Dragon's Lair card. Let's get four cards here. We got the Dragon's Lair and we got coming together. This person's trying to come out the Dragon's Lair or come out of, you know, um, how do you say, like a bed out of hell. Okay, and come towards you because I feel like you are their treasure. I'm hearing that song by Bruno Mars. Give me your, give me your, give me your attention, baby. I have to tell you a little something about yourself. Your wonderful eyes and oh, you a sexy lady. Thing is called oh, oh, oh mine. Oh, yeah, it's called treasure. The song is called treasure. Magical map trip that this person has a compass. I'm getting so many chills, y'all. Treasure, that is what you are. Okay, you're my golden star, and you the star. You're Aquarius. Like I say, and right now. With the compass card, you may not know where to foot to go, and you may have to make a choice between two places, two people, or whatever. And I feel like somehow come apart, you may have to break up or come apart, or something has to fall apart here that you may be grieving, and you may have to go through some type of sad embrace, or maybe this person is one of you guys is. I feel like this is mutual energy, but I feel like this magical prayer, either you're protecting yourself or somebody's like praying for you or something like that. And I feel like this storm. And I have deep for you. So I'm getting some type of other shit they got going on. Or something is going on. Some type of storm that's ruined up. Is somehow going to try to ruin this. But I feel like you're protected in situation. Or this situation is protected. But there's like some type of third party shit that's cooking up. And it's all because of them making a decision of um, wanting to talk to you. Come to worship or uh, be public announcement. Okay. Yeah. Home. They want to come home. Oh shit. Yeah. They tired of being stuck in the mud. I'm getting Timon and Pumbaa. Remember when Simba went out there with Timon and Pumbaa and he did all that shit and then he ended up coming back and he ended up fighting Scar? Yeah, wish and will. I feel like it's time to collect or this was a wish. And now I feel like it's time for me to be a wizard or a magician here. Yeah, and they are encouraged not to fuck with you or encouraged not to really deal with you. But they're going to keep on moving here because you make them happy. Or something like that. But let's see where they forward they're gossiping. They are forward they're gossiping. Them folks, they gossiping, doing all that. Who doing all that? Let's see what they saying. Let's go ahead and pull four cards. Yeah, let's see your birthday suit. So people who gossiping, they may want to see this person naked or they feel like this person is attractive. Or this person could like, people who gossiping, maybe they see your person naked or they see what your person got. And they like, nah, baby, we want to see your birthday suit. I don't even fuck with them. I want to fuck with you. 
Okay, let's see what else they saying. I have an image to uphold. So maybe the people should be saying like, oh, either you got an image to uphold or this person has an image to uphold. Like, what you, what you think? What you think how that's going to look at, uh, how people going to look at you or something like that? Okay. And then I have sexist. There also could be sexist as individuals who got some shit to say. Or people who gossip could be sexist. Like, they feel like women got to cook and clean and do all this shit. I don't cook. I don't clean. But let me tell you how I got this ring. Okay? <laughs> Oh, shit. Maybe you do cook and clean, but I don't know. That song just came up. And then it says, asking too many questions. Like I said, these folks who gossiping, asking too many questions. Like I said, um, y'all know the dude who be on um, Wild and Not. And he, and he used to be like, back when he was on Vine, he used to be like, why you asking all them questions? Ask Emmanuel. That's his name. Somebody named him be Emmanuel. And they're like, why you asking all them questions? Assuming? Like, <laughs> these people be asking all them questions, okay? Like... Let me get two more cards, y'all. I'm going to leave it alone. It's just funny. Last card, it says, my imagination run wild. So, these people is imagination and all type of shit about you and this person, or more importantly, about this person. And they feel like their imaginations or their worst fears is coming into to light. Or they feel like, you know, their imagination running wild. They don't know what the fuck to think. Last card, it says, stop spending money on drugs. So maybe the person has a drug habit or, you know, they could be smoking or something like that or drinking. I'm hearing that song, Smoking and Riding, Smoking and Riding. That's the name of the song. It's called Smoking and Riding. Um, but yeah, this is going on. But child, this is some crazy ass shit. I don't know who message this is, but excuse me, spurt your burden. That what it is, y'all. But anyway, let me get up off of here looking crazy as shit. But I will talk to you all later. Like this video, comment down below, and subscribe. And definitely let me know what's going on, y'all. You know, I'm gonna try to get back to y'all comments when I got time. But bye.